Friends, hello, how are you? Cannabis lovers, stocks, holders, what are we what am I saying here? Anyway, let's talk about Sundown Growers here. So Last time I talked about Sundow here, they were in a little bit of trouble with their, uh, you know, stock price. They were going down. Things were not looking so hot, but that too was a bad moment in the market. Now, things are changing here. Here's some things that are going on right now. Obviously, we're still in this fight here to see who's going to take the House Senate. Um, I'm not going to talk about that a lot here. I just want to focus on Sundow. So obviously, you know, the more the Democrats are in charge, one th what is the one thing Democrats are trying to do right now? They are trying to legalize cannabis across the board. Uh, they're trying to make it to where offenders that have been charged with cannabis will be put out of prison or not be put in prison if you have been. Which, uh, you know, as of right now, they haven't really released anybody as uh, far as I can find and other people, we're not seeing that. But still, they're doing it. So this has been moving the progression of cannabis in general and still talks of legalizing it in every state it's still separate from state to state but we are it's pretty darn close now sundown has done something else that they do a lot they do this a few times a year at this point um if you've been with sundown for any sort of time probably about six months to a year you've probably caught this or seen this before sundown has acquired another company here and this is what sundown does it's bought up a lot of companies it's bought up a lot of cannabis companies. That's why a lot of people think that Sundow is like this black horse in the background that's just coming up. It's just coming up out of nowhere and it's going to take over here pretty soon. That's why a lot of us continue to watch Sundow here because it's doing something that companies that become really big companies do. They start buying up their competitors and that's what Sundow has been doing. So that's why it's really hard to hang up the phone here with Sundown. Obviously, Sundown is coming off that reverse split that they had not long ago. I think we all got caught up in that. We knew it was coming. It was just, you know, it just had to happen. But things have been doing pretty well since then. Obviously, as of lately, Sundown has been doing pretty good. It's been doing pretty well. Um, and I'm, man, I'm, I'm hoping this thing gets into this $3 range here. That would be phenomenal. So Sundial being based in Canada, obviously trying to break their way <laughs> into the United States as much as they can. But right now they're really focusing and saying too that they really want to break into European markets, which is, yeah, come on, let's go. I want that. Let's, let's do that. So if you look up Sundial right now, there's not a lot of negative <laughs> feedback on it uh, compared to two months ago. Two months ago, you know, all these analysts, uh, writers and things were saying just, you know, don't pay attention to the sundial. It's going to leave you in the background in a bad way. Well, you know, now they're saying the complete opposite. They're saying, well, you know, sundial, it's doing pretty well and it's buying up more acquisitions and all that, you know, whatever. They go back and forth, back and forth. So two more bullet points here, friends, to say with Sundow is that obviously Sundow, it's Friday. It hit this 260 range here today with, you know, news that we've been seeing. It's been breaking. Is Sundow probably going to continue to go up? Here's what I'm going to say. Obviously, we don't know. The Dow Jones, the S&P, NASDAQ have been doing pretty good here the past few days. Um, but growth stocks are still not really following suit that much. We have seen movement on them, but not as heavy as we would like to. We don't have volume in the overall market. This is November. December, I expect December to be a complete washout. I expect December to be nothing, but there will be some things moving. Hopefully, Sundial is one of them, but more than likely, especially a lot of stocks that are in trouble, meme stocks, uh, penny stocks that have been under a dollar, even Sundial, people that got stuck in the reverse split that don't want to stay with it. We're probably going to see more than likely massive sell-off here in the middle of December. Why do I say that? Because if you've been in the stock market for any general amount of time, that's what happens. People are getting rid of their bag. These things are bag holding um, and they're just going to write it off on their tax and say, you know what? It was a good run. I'm done. So we could see that with uh, the majority of a lot of growth stocks and uh, Sundown could be in that a little bit. So for us to hit this $3 mark, we're going to need a little more news. We're going to need some really amazing quarterlies. Um, and I don't know that we're going to see that uh, before the end of the year. And obviously January, February, March, and obviously January, February, March, April are never really hot year, hot months uh, with the market, especially January, February. Everyone's poor, everyone's broke, they spend too much money on Christmas, going on vacations, traveling, seeing family, whatnot. So if we can at least hold right at this 260, $3 would be great, but I, like I said, I just don't know that it's going to happen. 
Uh, I just don't know. I think this is going to be the big move right here, and then hopefully we can settle when you know when the dust is cleared. We're still sitting at this 250, 260 mark. That would be really positive considering what we've had here. So friends, I've had the news up here. Feel free to read a lot of it. Um, th this is good. This is another big move for Sundown. We've seen this before in the past with them a lot. They've done this many times before, buying up other companies. <laughs> this is a slow process we're seeing with Sundown. But Sundown, is, they have a game plan. They're putting their money somewhere. This is what companies do that are trying to get somewhere. They're not just trying to be another cannabis stock. They're trying to be the biggest cannabis stock. So that's why really we need to pay attention to what they're doing. If you are an investor in growth stocks and you're looking for something that could possibly pop in the near future, really put Sundow on the top of the list. It really needs, you're, we need to watch it. We need to continue to keep watching this. So friends, I hope you have a phenomenal weekend and I will talk to you very soon. Take care everyone, bye bye.